Let me give me an ear scratch. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What's the matter, Snoopy? Okay, guys. So this is going to be a very ongoing series uh, about home labbing. Before I left, I told you guys I was going to rebuild my home lab. So I did a short where I was talking about this um, Dell PowerEdge T605. And I think in the video I called it a 610. And I am going to get rid of it. It's just uh, where it's been good, I just can't do a lot with it, okay? It's, you know, it's got one processor with four cores, and I can only upgrade it to 32 gigs. And the dual power supplies in the back have been killing me. So, last year, I think I got a video on this, I rebuilt this super micro out of two super micros. Uh, the other one had a messed up uh, motherboard where the previous uh, admin who was working with me at the company at the time somehow broke the uh, USB and we lost the, uh, the OS only to find out that the OS was on a USB stick and not on uh, a ROM like I thought it was so it was a little bit um, a little bit you know enlightening but okay so I've had true NAS on this server and I really never filled it out and I've been thinking you know it would be better used if I go ahead rebuild it and put um, Proxmox on it and I'm going to put uh, TrueNAS as a vert on that because you know I've seen a lot of people do it so I, I want to try it out but as I'm going through this I'm going to be doing a lot of rebuilding so we're going to do rebuild this one first this one Yuri uh, Bune which means ghost ship, okay? This has become kind of my L3 uh, proxy switch. Now, if you know anything about networking, you have like L1, L2, and L3. L2s are mostly what this is. L3s where you could do like a lot of routing in the back. And the reason I joke and call it my proxy L3 switch is I put in a network card into this and I'm able to have all three VLANs because okay we have in my house close to seven VLANs but this one actually works with the three that I work with so as you guys know or may not know so one VLAN is the one for the main house where all my kids play the second VLAN I set up for all my small board computers, so like things like this. Okay. They're all running on that. My third VLAN, oh, we're getting a little bit of sun this morning, is on the mini rack because I wanted it to be its its own little uh its own little kingdom or you know, own little isolated networking. So alright. So I'm going to rebuild as much as I can, and I want to get it stable. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to put Proxmox on this. Okay? And then I'm going to carve out some of the storage to be for um, TrueNAS, and I'm going to put it back on there. Once I get this stable, okay, I'm going to go ahead and start uh, rebuilding the verts off of this to this 
and then we're going to get rid of this server. I wish I could keep it, but um, I'm going to donate it and give it to someone. Maybe uh, I'll ask uh, Free IT at Athens if, if they can use it. But um, I just don't need that many servers. And doing Docker and virtualization, uh, things have been working out pretty good. Now, while I'm rebuilding all this stuff, I'm going to hopefully um, find me a true L3 switch. If not, I'm still going to use this, but I'm going to rebuild this one and I'm going to replace these hard drives. They're only um, 146. That's not a lot of space. I can easily pick up one terabyte um, SAS drives and put it in there. So keep like, I know it's probably not the best thing to do, but I'll keep one OS and then three for storage. And then this essentially will become my um, main Docker server. Okay. But now this one, I need to rebuild it because uh, it's running Debian and it's uh, it's far behind but this has been my main DNS server for years and this one I'm not gonna touch this is actually a working NAS and I'm not gonna rebuild this one okay that's my OpenSUSE libvirt D but today this morning I finally got everything off of this onto this server here and uh, it's turned off right now because when you have all this running in an office okay and I don't recommend doing what I'm doing because it gets kind of toasty luckily today it's in its 40s so the office is actually feels comfortable yeah I still got the fan going because of the the heat but ideally you want to have this in like a data center that's constantly, you know, 65 to 70 so that the gear uh, is cut, you know, runs nicely. If you notice, yeah, there are fans going, but this is actually kind of quite quiet. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start building it and then here. In the following video, I'm going to start talking about how uh, I got everything integrated, okay? And then, um, I know you guys see a lot... Ooh, good lord, the dog hair. That's what happens when you have two beagles. But anyway, so you guys see a lot of uh, wireless devices. Each VLAN has its own wireless device, so... We're going to go ahead and make sure we get all this stuff uh, secured and all that. But all right, so I'm going to stop uh, this video. I'm going to go ahead and I already got my Proxmox drive ready. Okay. By the way, these were the best uh, USB sticks that Micro Center uh, released because of the size. And then as I'm going through, I'm going to try to uh, figure out uh, what things I want to put back in. And I'll show you what applications. Like, um, I want to get uh, guacamole back up and running. I want to get uh, Casa and uh, Casa Web, which is, uh, sorry, Casa OS, which is from the folks that do the uh, Zima boards, okay? In fact, that actually came with it, but I nuked it. And that's my gaming server that my kids use. Uh, I wanna get Casma OS. Yeah, they're both containerized uh, OS's, but I like the fact that one does browsers and applications, and the other one, it does 
apps as well, but I'm going to get those up and running. And then I'm going to be building out, rebuilding out verts. Like, uh, my backup DNS server is a vert. My mail server is a vert. Okay. Uh, I still run my own personal mail server. I'm also going to look at updating the spam technology because I used to do that religiously. I ran spam assassin for years and uh, with all kinds of stuff and it worked out pretty good. And as I'm going through this I'll do little uh, segments and show you guys what I'm doing. But if anybody knows a cheap well, cheap's a bad word. An inexpensive L3 uh, switch would be great because the reason I'm looking for that, and if you're kind of curious, is with L2, you, you plug this up, and you can set your VLANs, and it'll do a lot of your you know, segmentation, routing, and things like that. But when you use an L3 router, if you have multiple... VLANs and um, it handles the routing on the back end. Uh, when I worked at a startup that I worked at years ago as the only sysadmin, okay, uh, we had Dell PowerConnect 2000 series. Those were awesome. If you're ever looking for something that has the power of sys uh, Cisco, but you don't want to pay Cisco prices. Look at Dell's uh, Power Connect switches. They're really good. But we had the 3000 series, and that's where most of the L3 routing was done on that, and it was fantastic. It really was. Um, you know, I got to learn from a guy who worked with us a very short time, but it was awesome. Okay? So, all right. I'm going to go ahead and shut this off. I'm going to start rebuilding this server. Uh, another reason I'm, I really want to use this is it's got 80 gigs of memory and 16 cores. It's perfect for doing uh, virtualization. Okay? And I really like Proxmox and all that. And who knows, maybe if I can get all this going right, uh, one thing I have not been able to do, and I'm going to go look at other content creators, I want to see if I can get uh, my own cluster up, because if this was in a backup, and seriously guys, if you're learning all this stuff, if this was in a cluster uh, as part of uh, that you know, cluster uh, with SEP uh, OS, all I would have to do is say, hey, move the verts from here to here, get rid of this okay another thing I want to do is so this thing right here has four two terabyte hard drives they're in perfect condition so I don't know if you guys remember <clears throat> Frankenstein Frankenstein was a theory that I was working with that okay um, I could use one of my, you know, cards to get it up and running. And if you can see in the back, I did get the card up. It was running. Problem was, these are all bad drives. And Proxmox didn't really like the fact that uh, SmartD was throwing a fit that, uh, you know, there were bad sectors. But it worked. Okay. So, we're really going to get a lot of this stuff set up um, and have it going. The other thing I'm going to be doing as I'm rebuilding this, okay, is I'm going to be installing CheckMK, okay, for each of my uh, different uh, networks, okay, and... I'm going to use it. I'm going to get rid of uh, Nagios. <sighs> Nagios is so dated. Um, really, really is. But we're going to uh, use CheckMK as the official monitoring. I'm going to get it set up for alerts. And then 
I'm going to try to see about the other video where I said I was disappointed. Look, uh, start buying one terabyte uh, triple SDs because I want to get uh, another power supply like this for that unit. Or, I don't know, maybe, maybe I got enough power off of Frankenstein to power it. But I want to make it where I have... I can start expanding my storage for that. Okay? So, Check MK, Casma Web, CasOS, Proxmox. We're definitely going to do that. The other thing. Oh, she's so sweepy. The other thing I'm going to do is this is my main website for Ugly uh, Press. It's on an Asus Tinkerboard. I want to use uh, my Orange Pi 5 as the primary and make this a backup. And I'm going to get Sync OS. So we're going to talk about that OS. So a lot of stuff I've been planning out. Okay. So, yeah. And then hopefully, if I can figure out a way of redoing all the cabling, to me it looks a lot better. But I could do a better job, okay? But uh, that's going to be it for this video. This is Terra Pup. I want to wish everybody peace. And, uh, yeah, continue to watch this uh, home labbing video. And um, more to come, okay? Uh, if you like this video, please leave me a like. And please hit the subscribe button. I uh, hope to... Uh, entertain and uh, enlighten you guys with further videos.